Hi Virgo, how are you? I hope you're doing well. So I feel emotion, um, maybe past issues and emotion resurfacing, a lot of healing. So pretty much that means a lot of healing. So that's just what I got when I got into your energy. Um, so I myself took a little bit of time off because I had my own healing to do as well as crazy dream space as well as some books coming to my, my uh, attention. I almost said intentions. <laughs> okay guys, so let's see what's happening with you this week be energy surrounding you yourself or um, could be what's coming up in the future as well so let's see what the tarot has to say all right Virgo any messages for Virgo from our spirit guides of our light as well as passed down loved ones any messages for Virgo whoa okay that landed face up on my lap so I will show you how it landed <laughs> lots of okay interesting yeah okay <laughs> so both of them were kind of like this but judgment looks like it's coming up like this king of cups we'll talk about both ways okay let's get one more card out for you guys before i download any messages for virgo and that came out facing you so that's yours yeah this is actually really exciting it's like if you guys were doing a purge which was that first thing I was picking up on kind of felt like this middle ground energy so when cards came in like this it was kind of leaning up like this so okay so bear with me um when they come in like this it's almost like you're at this point of completion for me it's almost like my you're at a nine and you're almost your ten of completion okay so what the king of cups is all about is balanced emotions setting intentions using your emotions but the emotions are balance. When the King of Cups in reverse, that is when the emotions run wild. Could be overdone or under. Remember, too little emotion or over emotion kind of spilling over and toppling over. So it almost feels like if you guys had some stuff surface, it could have felt like a lot of lack of balance then, but I feel like you guys are coming into setting your intentions as well as control over your emotions. And I feel like someone's pulling me really hard right now and they're like, they're like, I don't know what to do with all these emotions. They're coming up for you to heal. Even if you feel like you've healed them in the past, if they're resurfacing for any reason at all, detox, let it come out call on Archangel Raphael to help you heal your heart chakra at this time and just know the balance is coming and I promise that was tipping the scales way more up towards the balanced king of cups who is a balanced ruler who has this love and care but also knows when to use the intellect yeah I'm seeing like a lot of heart and head coming into agreement and there's judgment calling to your duty your soul purpose divine being yes a lot of you are going through your awakening right now which does not surprise me also so as a global scale too, I feel like the, the awakening shift is starting to pick up a little bit more and it gets me really excited. But it's also hard because remember, as a lot of people are awakening, there's still low vibrational energies and entities who still are around. So we need to raise the vibration, remembering that we are love and we are light. And this is your awakening right now here confirmation right now that you are going through some stuff that you might be a little hard to handle but it's also for me with this tower moment in the collective is humanity global scale not just um us light workers star seeds earth angels however it resonates with you mystics um not just us it's like the whole collective being called upon to raise the vibration okay and just know it's there's going to be people who will not meet you here. My big message for the week has been like, you can only control yourself. Remember that you only have control of yourself going within. Remember, I choose to go inside at this time, go within, but I also can leave and go out to Mother Gaia anytime I want. I am not entrapped. Seeing through the matrix. I just heard seeing through the matrix. Yeah, you guys are starting to understand and see through the matrix. And I love the Eight of Pentacles coming out. Yes, the Eight of Pentacles for me is your craft. Yeah, I love that. I love that because it's like in the past, sometimes it takes things to really crumble if they were not rooted in Mother Gaia for us to surface what we truly want. A lot of you are finding emotionally what actually fills your cup and fulfills you. I feel like a lot of inner child, like some of you are going back and you're like, what actually does make you? like make me happy what do i enjoy doing rather than getting stuck in the nine to five job getting stuck in the 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 wheel of the matrix 
like getting caught up in this is what I'm supposed to do every day versus what I actually enjoy doing. And this is confirmation you are building your craft and it is pinnacally abundant as well as abundant and rooted into Mother Gaia. Your job before or a person, this could even be a relationship that you're building, but this feels like someone's job is I don't want to say crumble, but a tower moment in career that may not have been expected or you're almost relieved that it happened and it almost caused this spiritual awakening. If you've already been through your awakening, it's like a second shift for you, like even more clarity, even more balance coming in, even more emotional fulfillment being promised. Remember, whatever is not rooted in Mother Gaia will crumble. So whatever this is, this is promised holistic pinnacle and spiritual abundance. Oh my gosh. Yes. I love that. So this could be just like a new idea or a new craft coming in. And you have this time, this opportunity, right? That you might not have had in the past to actually work on this. Or this could have been something that was sparked a long time ago. And you're like, Oh my God, I actually have time to do that. I can actually focus on what I truly desire. And this gives you the time to work on that rooted in Gaia. Oh my God, confirmation right there. Second wave of spiritual awakening for some of you. Some of you are just now waking up. But for me with that King of Cups and you coming into balance, that's almost like like it's another shift, like almost more high high vibrational, more downloads, more upgrades. Um, a lot of you already feel like you were awake. And if you're watching me, you probably have been awake for a while because I don't talk too much about romance or money. I mean, of course, abundance is promised and I will never, I will say like money, of course, have a good relationship with money. Um, but for me, I tend to talk a little bit more about the awakening process, okay? Yay! Okay, set your intentions. Yes, I'm gonna put that imagine with the Eight of Pentacles. It's like now that you have this time, this opportunity is literally what I've been calling it to go within. Imagine what you can have. Imagine what you can do, what you can manifest, because remember the power lies in you. Coming to this realization, the second awakening, or the first for some of you, the shift, what you truly want, desire, and true, who you truly are, how powerful you are, and how to manifest and set your intentions for what you truly want. Imagine the magic, imagine what you can do, because once you set your intentions and say you have it, guys, imagine big, because anything is possible, and mother Gaia and our spirit guides of the light as well as source will gift us for rising above for call read I want to say like something to the calling <laughs> so just the calling okay you guys if you are reacting or responding to this call it is a promise that you can have spiritual holistic as well as pinnacle abundance, as well as your craft. It's like, imagine what you can do. Imagine what you can do with this time and imagine what you can do now that there has been this little crack, this little crack in the foundation of society. But now here comes the crumble, here comes the tower moment. You have decided to follow the path of love and light, the path of source, the path of divine, almost divine realization of who you truly are. Imagine what you can do. Oh my God, yes, just imagine. Any messages for Virgo? Yeah. All right, so this is your yang. This is um your masculine energy. So this is solar plexus. You have your yin, which is your sacral, and your yang, which is your masculine energy, your solar plexus. This is where your confidence, your abundance, and your power lies. I kind of like that with the king of cups coming in. It's like the balance of the sacral and the solar plexus, the balance of the divine masculine as well as the divine feminine. Remember, no matter what your gender is, you can pull one way. This is confirmation right here that you guys might be actually stepping into your power. A a lot of you who were leading more with divine feminine have always been very, very well nurtured as well as very creative right? So this could be a balance of those two energies. If this is something that you're coming into, this means you are finally coming into your powerhouse, your confidence, where your happiness lies. It's like whatever wasn't working before, whatever had to crumble, this opportunity to go within, whatever was that actually kind of shifted you almost, made you realize where your true passion lies. You get to work on your craft, imagine what you can do, and coming into your true confidence and your true happiness. You could be pulling 
pulling divine masculine as well, which means you normally pull very, very confident as well as powerful. But for me, with these both coming in, this is very divine feminine with emotions being balanced as well as divine masculine. It feels like completion within yourself, which is absolutely amazing. Oh my God. Any messages, Virgo? You got like a ton. <laughs> We're going to take the one that's closest because that is definitely not surprising me. Actually, I'm going to go back to what I was doing. There we go. There we go. Poised. I freaking love this card. This is coming into your true self, your true divine being, standing on your pedestal. And I don't mean that in an egotistical way. It means rising above, coming to such a high vibration that nothing can touch you, nothing can bring you down. Also, with this balance of masculine and feminine, this does not surprise me. Once you come into becoming a balanced being, you are able to manifest, create, imagine what you can do, and you are poised. Sitting up, rising above, leading with love, as well as if any situation situations come along. Look at that, especially with the King of Cups and with all the funky energy that's going on, the stagnant energy and the like the fearful energy, you it doesn't even affect you. For me too, this is really taking your time, going within and focusing on yourself. Remember the true being you are, but a lot of balance coming in, a lot of rising to the occasion, a lot of you rising to the call, the call of spirit, the divine light of who you truly are. And it's bringing in a new creative idea or opportunity to work on a creative idea that actually speaks to yourself or your inner child, just rising above. It's like, even though everyone else is freaking out, you're like, I don't know what's going to happen, but I choose to trust spirit. I choose to trust myself. I choose to go with and do the healing that I need to do. Very, 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 very balanced. Very, very, very powerful energy. Very, very confident. Even with the poise and the yang, that's a lot of solar plexus confidence too. So I'm glad you guys are feeling yourself. You guys are finally like to the point where you're like, nothing can touch me. These people don't affect me. I'm confident and I trust myself and I trust spirit. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> Just hit my elbow. All right, let's see what your archangels have to say. A couple can come out, multiple can come out. Um, so Archangel Raphael, Heart Chakra, and Earth Force is going to be something I will be saying for a while now. Archangel Raphael is our Archangel of Healing. Our Heart Center is something we need to focus and protect at this time. As well as, of course, Mother Gaia. Remember to stay rooted and grounded in Mother Gaia. And whatever this is, will be rooted, grounded, and supporting Gaia. And she will support you back, I promise. Whoa, yep, okay, you got four. I think you got one coming in backwards too. Let's take the top one and then we'll reshuffle. Actually, I'm gonna take that backwards one because that is a confirmation right there for me. Doo -doo -doo. There he is. Oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> okay, Archangel Hanal with willpower. Archangel Hanal is our warrior, our sacred warrior, our courage, where all of our safety comes in, knowing that you are always safe and you are always protected. If there is a will, there is a way. This is confirmation you guys are putting in the work. You are willing to rise to the occasion, willing to put into the work to balance yourself, to balance that yin and that balance, that masculine balance, that feminine. Oh my gosh, guys, and it's confirmation right there that if you are willing to put in the work if you are willing to do the healing that you will be greeted with abundance and evolution there is that poised there is you rising above mother Gaia herself at this time is trying to reach a new vibration she is healing and ready to vibrate above and you will meet her there if this is something that sparks or triggers your interest please look into Dolores Cannon's um, a new earth in the three ways of volunteers it's all about the energy that's going on at this time right now if you're a little curious so evolution to coming into your true potential your true divinity your true power I love these two coming out. Look at that. So highly evolved. The lower vibrational energies cannot even touch you. It doesn't even phase you. It doesn't even affect you. You're over here working on yourself. You've answered the call. You're becoming balanced. You're coming to fruition your ideas and it's better than you can even imagine. And you've put in the work. So guys, if you're not there yet, if you're in this energy that I was feeling at the beginning, if you're feeling a lot of emotions coming to the surface, it's really, really time for you to dive deep and heal and know the call has been made. The call has been made for you to shift to love, to start manifesting, to shift to a higher vibration. And once you do, once you do, guys, 
promise of evolution within yourself, the person you are coming into is balanced and poised. And if you can put in the work, spirit always promises to meet you with a flow, to return whatever you give, whether it's abundance holistically, whether it's pinnacle, whatever resonates with you, whatever you desire, whatever you imagine. I'm going to stop my camera so it doesn't die and I will be right back. Okay guys, um, since we're speaking of Mother Gaia, let's see what she has to say. Um, remember at this time to please go outside, ground yourself, put your bare feet on your ground for 10 minutes, keeping you rooted and safe into Mother Gaia. Also, that's Root Chakra right there with Archangel Hanala, Archangel Sendophon with Evolution. That's more, so it could be Sacral Solar Plexus, which I'm seeing you come into balance with that color, but for me, it's my almost the Gold Chakra, which is your Star Chakra, which is above your Crown Chakra, your True Divinity, okay? Just so you guys know what um, chakras to draw attention to. <laughs> yep. So anyone who's in this stagnant energy or this is the energy you're coming out of, it says reflection, self-examination and illusion. Yeah, guys, it's like you're seeing through the matrix. You're seeing through the bullshit. You've been gaslighted by society. My mom actually sent me an article about that, how um, they might pretend like this never happened so that Americans forget and they go back to their their norm. But just know here on earth, the norm is not norm. It is not normal to have these low vibrational energies taking over jealousy, anger, war, things like that. No. So it's like time for you to look within. And once you've done your healing, once you've answered the call, I promise you come into this poised evolution. This could be in the past. This could just be you going within and doing the self-reflection and being like, why does this bother me? Why does this person bother me? What do I need to heal? And once you do that, you get to come into beautiful balance of your yin and your yang, your solar plexus, as well as your sacral chakra. Also for me, this is just cutting through the bullshit. The veil is lifting. The vibration is is raising us as a collective must raise this vibration to meet mother Gaia at a higher vibration okay so this is also you really really seeing through the BS the veil is lifting oh my god I kind of like that so if this is a time for you to go within and reflect but for me this is cutting through illusion you guys finally see it and it's like you might have seen it in the past but now you're very very aware of what's going on and you're to the point where you're like I'm not going back Oh, Spirit said there's no looking back. That is dang right. And I was getting pulled towards Sacred Rebel, um, but you have a lot of chakra stuff going on right now. So I used this a couple weeks ago. Um, <laughs> it was really funny. I was like, this is what we need to heal. And everyone was getting like beautiful blessings out of it. So we could address this as healing as well as any upgrades or downloads to the chakras coming in. Okay. So we'll take however many come out. Chakras for Virgo. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides of the Light. Any messages for Virgo? Any chakras? And we'll take the top. Actually, there's three. Yeah, we'll take all three. We have nurturing. And all of this is base, okay? Mother Earth and forgiveness. Wow. There is that heart healing coming in. Oh my God. Okay. So with nurturing, this is your base chakra below your root chakra, our divine connection with mother earth. There she is right there. Promise that she is evolving just like you guys. Also notice that this starts with a one. I actually really think that's interesting because of the new earth that's going on. Like I said, if you're drawn to a book, I recommend it. Um, but it's interesting. It's a one because that's all about new beginnings. You guys are evolving so high and so poised that it brings in this new beginning as well as Mother Gaia starting over with this new beginning. Connection with Mother Gaia to also confirmation. Remembering that you are nurtured to nurture yourself. And if nurturing is something you're lacking as far as security in your life, take care of yourself, fill up your cup first and a promise to flow. Once you give to others, they should be flowing and giving to you. If they do not, they do not deserve your love and your magic. Everyone deserves love, but there's no reason for you to project your magic or hold someone up. For some reason, I see someone holding someone up. At the end of the day, remember, if you're not getting taken care of or there is no flow, it does not benefit your highest good. There should always be 
flow. Also a reminder too that like you need nurturing and to remember that you are not alone. You are nurtured and loved by Mother Earth. Yes, Mother Guy is right there. She's like, yeah, I love you. I love you. Thank you for supporting me and I will support you. Yeah beautiful, as well as your spirit guides of the light, as well as your past down loved ones of the light, as well as um, any starseed collectives. Just know you are supported. The angelic realm, you have so much nurturing and support and call on them. Call on Archangel Raphael at this time. And there is forgiveness coming in. This could be someone is forget. This is interesting. This is coming in with this King of Cups. This could be confirmation that someone is offering you forgiveness or an apology is coming up for you. Um, but for me, more than anything, it's like you're forgiving all the past wrongs. And remember, when you do forgive all those past wrongs, it does not justify what they've done. And it does not mean you have to go send them an apology. You don't have to text them and be like, I'm sorry. You just offering that forgiveness, it does not affect me. I've evolved above it. It does not affect me. Cut that cord and that takes away your energy from that. Forgiveness either coming in, but this for me with the heart chakra coming out, this is you just offering forgiveness. You're like, no matter what happened, it was a karmic contract and I forgive them because guess what? I learned a lesson out of it. Heart chakra, oh my gosh guys, this is pretty beautiful. Um, so this is my Sacred Rebels deck. We're gonna go ahead and take one of these. So with this deck, I absolutely, if you're drawn to the imagery of this, I absolutely re recommend you get it. It's Alana Fairchild. Um, Guys, she has healing in there. There are tons of messages, like paragraphs and paragraphs on the card. So if you're drawn to this deck, please, please, please get it and do it on your own time. It has beautiful healing in there, which is so cool. Any messages for our Virgo energy? I'm just so excited you guys found like something that speaks to you. I'm excited about this evolution. Confirmation of evolution of yourself and the earth. Wow, new beginning for both of you. I'm going to go grab that. <laughs> yep. She feels. She knows. Guys, it's like trust your gut. Trust your intuition. For the she coming out too is very interesting. For me, it's also connected with Gaia as well. Remembering to nurture her. Lots of nurturing coming in too. Remember to trust your gut. You guys are at a point of heightened intuition, especially if this is like your second awakening or you're feeling very, very evolved and connected. With that balance coming in, that's almost confirmation right there that you guys are very upgraded and tuned and download. Ooh, yes, I feel a lot of downloads coming in. Watch your dream space at this time. Trust your gut. At the end of the day, you guys have come to a point where you know what serves your highest good, what brings you balance, and what does not. At the end of the day, you have something new, creative coming in, whether it's a person, a job, however it resonates with you, and you now know what you deserve. And trust your emotions. Don't get caught up in the imbalance of emotions. Trust your heart and trust your your gut. Yes, guys, when you offer forgiveness, this makes room in your heart chakra for more beautiful, beautiful things to come in to nurture yourself too. Guys, this is confirmation to trust your gut and trust your intuition. Very, very heavy. Gut would be your solar plexus, third eye as well with that intuition, also psychic abilities as well. And trust Gaia. Tr Whoa. And trust Gaia. It's like, even though there is a little bit of like an uncertainty. Really, really trust that Mother Gaia will support you in your evolution of yourself, as well as your spirit guides of the light, as well as your balance and all that. But this is confirmation right here for me. Like Mother Gaia is here and she promises you there will be no loss when you're rooted in her. Wow, I love this. Awesome. That's such a freaking cool card. That's so cool. Look at this too. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. She feels, she knows. You do know. Trust your gut, trust your intuition. Okay, guys, and then I'm going to get um, a spirit animal totem out. So this could either be an animal that you are working with. Uh, look into it more if you're drawn to it. This could just be for the week, or you might be noticing that you're seeing them more often, whether it's in movies, dream space, or outside. But if you're really like feeling it, look into it. Look into it, guys. Animal totems are really cool. They're here to um, to work together as a team. I wanted to say support us, but that doesn't feel right because like with my totems, I feel like it's like a team effort. <laughs> They're helping me too, right? <laughs> 
Any messages for beautiful Virgos? We'll take all three. Ah, oh, Otter Spirit, you are never alone. That is so true. Like I said with the nurturing, a reminder right there that as people fall out of your life, know that they will be replaced with higher vibrational beings. At the end of the day, you aren't ever alone. You are always supported by Mother Guy. You always have your collective. You always have your spirit guides of the light, your past down loved ones of light, as well as your archangels. If you're ever feeling alone, know that you are loved and they want you to call them in for support. Yes. Canary, sing your own song. Yes, you coming into your own true vibrational being. She is poised. He is poised with evolution. Oh my God, can you imagine who you will become? Very balanced energy. Oh my God, and that canary, I love birds. So that's very, very, very cute. Okay, so sing your own song as well with You Are Never Alone, yeah. And when you do sing your own song, sometimes people will fall. But remember, if they do not resonate with you nor understand, trust your gut. You feel you know, trust your gut. And be spirit. Sweet results away. Yes, they do. Obviously, look at this. This is insane. Guys, once you offer this forgiveness, break through the illusion, come into healing. Guys, you have a balance of your solar plexus as well as your sacral. That is promise for manifestation. Set your intentions and imagine what you can do. And I'm so excited about this little spark. You are meeting the call. You are rising to the occasion and spirit sees that. And you know what happens when you do that? When you're supported in Gaia and spirit, you will be rewarded. Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, so this was absolutely beautiful. So for those of you who have not come into this yet, there is a calling for offering forgiveness balancing emotions as well as meeting the call to spirit and seeing through the illusion doing self-reflection as well but for a lot of you I feel like you guys have been putting in the work and doing it and you guys will evolve with mother Gaia and promise of sweet results be your own being because you are a shining beacon of light and no one is like you oh my god Virgo this is beautiful thank you so much for being here with love and light